Hi everyone, David Saad here from skygems.ca. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a absolutely stunning 1.41 carat GIA certified Colombian Emerald. It's a stunning gem. This has F1 treatment, which is generally considered untreated in Emerald. And absolutely a wonderful, wonderful stone. It's exceptionally clean and bright. Has that lovely classic Colombian color to it. This is going to make a wonderful, wonderful piece of jewelry. Take a look at that. This is just a real classic of a gem. As I said, it has a GIA certificate. This is a quick look at the GIA. You can view that on the website via the link in the description. Uh, there's also some more pictures of the gem there as well as full details. Do be sure to check that out, but first, Stick around and let me show you this incredible stone a little bit more. As I noted, it is an F1 treatment. Uh, that, strand, that stands for filling one. Uh, that's generally considered the most minor treatment that you can find in an emerald. When people are looking for untreated emerald, F1 is generally accepted as the closest to untreated that most people will ever get a chance to see. What a wonderful stone. Now, if you are buying emerald that's untreated, be sure you're, you're buying it with a uh, reputable certificate. Um, you know, for example, GIA, IGI, GRS is definitely good for, for the level of treatment. Um, you know, Goblin, GRS, Gem Research, Swiss Lab, uh, those are the, uh, those are the kinds of certs you're looking for. Like if it's a if it's a certificate from a lab that you've never heard of and your jeweler has never heard of and anybody who you know who's in the business has never heard of, you should probably get a second certificate on it. Uh, I've seen more, you know, I've had more than a couple of customers tell me they bought untreated stones that had absolutely no treatment in them and they had a piece of paper from some random lab in, uh, in India or in Bangkok that now note there are good labs in India and Bangkok. I'm not saying that every lab in India and Bangkok is bad. Absolutely not. But does some lab you've never heard of in India and Bangkok, you know, or, or from Bangkok, um, you might want to dig a little bit more, get it checked out. Um, one particular customer spent a lot of money on a gem that was supposed to be untreated. Not only was it treated with oil, it was dyed for color. And I mean, it was fairly obvious by the price that the person was charging for this quality of stone that it was just not possible to, to get a stone like that. Uh, I've also seen people selling plenty of uh, fake gems, you know, with synthetics that have a, you know, have a BS certificate from here or there or wherever else. So try to make sure you're buying from a reputable dealer, uh, especially when people are going to make claims like the stone is untreated. That's a that's a major alarm bell, right? That they're going to say, oh, it's a you know twenty thousand dollar emerald, and it's untreated, but they don't have a certificate from you know GIA or IGI or Goblin. That's that's kind of a you know alarm bell should be going off, right? So. When people have gems of that kind of value, that kind of quality, almost always they have a certificate for it as well. Again, back to this stone, absolutely a stunner. Take a look at that. Wonderful, wonderful stone. Uh, of course, has some eye visible inclusions. It's an emerald. Lovely jardin is visible from the back. That's the garden, people call it, the inclusions. All emeralds have, you know, pretty much all emeralds have eye visible inclusions. Uh, the Rockefeller emerald, five million dollars for an 18 karat emerald, had eye, yeah, it was five million U.S. had uh, eye visible inclusions. So, it's you know very very acceptable for emeralds to have eye visible inclusions, and it's not just acceptable; it is expected. So, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Don't forget to tell your friends about SkyGems.ca. Bye for now.